Now I will want to change the text of this button from my button to my favorite. Now we will need to design 12 album covers on the view. So how are we going to do this? One quick solution may be just dragging out some image views from the object palette and try to resize it so that we can fit 12 covers on the view. But that is a, not a very good solution for several reasons. First, it could be really hard to resize it perfectly. And second, it would surely cause us some troubles later on when we have to work with a tool in Xcode called Auto Layout. That is, allow us to design our UI to look great on any iPhone or even iPad screen size. So let's just work with me, okay? And I, it will make sense later when we work on Auto Layout. One technique in Auto Layout is to have a anchor point, a anchor element that is relative to the main view and that we can have some other elements attached to that anchor element. It sounds weird, but let's do it. I will search for a UI view in the object palette. This is a generic view. It is just like the um, blue view, blur view, but it has nothing. It is just a blank view. We will use that view as the container view for all of those album covers. So let's drag it to the view. Then we can inspect its size so that X is 11, Y is one, uh, 116, width is 298, and height is 400. You may ask, dude, where the heck do those magic numbers come from? The answer is testing and fixing. I have to try out several solutions before using those numbers and these numbers don't have to be the same on every screen size. Later on you will see that we will do some magical things with auto layout and with each screen size those elements will have different size based on the screen size of the device. It's very cool and um, amazing feature. Okay, so let's drag some UI image image view to this view. Let's drag it so that it lays on the white view. And notice the document outline. The image view, we just place it onto the view. It lays a little bit offset to the left of the view. That's because the image view is a sub view of this view. Likely, this is my favorite button. Um, this is a sub view of this view. Everything that we drag out so far and we place them on the canvas of this view is the sub view of the whole view like this. So at this time, that view is considered to be the super view of those sub views. Okay, so we have the super views and we have the sub views. Okay, so that's a crash course on super view and sub view. You can imagine it very much the same as superclass and subclass. So let's inspect the size of this image view. Let's change it, the X to be 0, the Y to be 0, width and height is 94. Again, a lot of testing here and maybe some math, mathematic calculation. Now we can duplicate this UI image view and place it to the left to the right and duplicate one more. We can even duplicate. Notice use the blue guidelines carefully to place it so that um, each, the space between each UI image view is eight points and you just need to use the blue guidelines and that will be eight points. If you want to know how many space, how large is it between two elements, you can just select one and hold the option key and then mouse over to the other element and that you can show how many space between them. Now we can select three UI image views and duplicate those and align them. We can even duplicate six of those and align them perfectly like this. Notice that all 12 image covers, image views, it's aligned perfectly in that container view. 
Now I want to select one and control A to select all the image views and over the attribute inspector, the image, I will choose it, Abbey Road or something. Okay, to see that we have those images, 12 covers and let's run it. Ah, uh, two things. First, the images look quite good. It's perfectly aligned. But there's a lot of white space between those images. Where are those white space coming from? Well, that's because of the container view, that white generic view we dragged out before. So let's fix that by selecting the view on the document I outline and change it background color to be default. Default means that it's clear, it, we can see through it, other views on it can be seen, okay? So run the app again. Voila, look at those album covers, how beautiful they are. Good job, everyone.